If you're a long-time viewer of mine, you have probably hear me talk about my favorite emulator of choice, which is of course LD Player. It's been a long-time emulator that I've been using from the start of Ark Knights up till now for about two and a half years already, and I seriously love this emulator so much. I received a message last week from one of the staff of LD Player who informed me that LD Player has just been upgraded from their version of LD Player 4 all the way to LD Player 9. So I'm super stoked to talk about that together with you guys in this video. So there's a bunch of windows that I'll be opening up later on. So let me first start off with my LD Player 9 window, which is right over here. If you've been using LD Player and you're changing up to this version, you're greeted with a whole new menu interface. It looks a lot cleaner than before. I love the navigation of everything over here. It's very silky smooth. Then let's get to the game of Arc Knights. It's still going to be the same as ever, as you would know of it. Um, everything still runs fine. It's at the perfect 60 FPS. Now, if you want to change up the settings of your emulator over here, it's also pretty easy to do so. You can change the resolution. You can change it to some other modes that you might want to. And you can also set your CPU and RAM according to what your computer can take. A lot of my favorite things about LD Player still remains over here, such as things like your keybinds. If let's say you're playing other games like mobile shooter games, some of you could even be playing mobile rhythm games on your emulator. This can work out for you in order to bind your keys onto your keyboard. There are things like the sound option, you can change it to full screen. And then if let's say you're someone who likes to farm on multiple accounts, you can also set up a multi-window. You open up a few instances of LD Player, and then that way you can run your two, three, four accounts, or if not even multiple games that you are playing right now. I use LD Player a lot not just to stream, but also film my videos. So with functions like screenshot at the side over there, and then at the same time, there's also video recorder. These are all really useful buttons for people who may want to just share their content with other people. One of the major changes for LD Player 9 is that this is currently using the latest Android version, which is version 9. Pretty similar to how Bluestacks 5 is also using that version as well. And with this new upgrade, if there are any mobile games that you know that requires a 64-bit emulator, LD Player 9 has became a 64-bit emulator. So it can actually run games like Apex Legends and Genshin Impact. Although I had some struggles when I was downloading those games, which I already reported to LD Player 9, currently this version is in beta, but I've been told that they are going to work hard to ensure that all these games can actually run on the emulator. The reason why I wanted to run Genshin Impact on the emulator is because I was curious to see whether an emulator will use less resources compared to a PC launcher. But I don't have that information right now. But I do have information as to how LD Player improved from their previous version. So on the bottom right of the screen, I have LD Player 4 and on the top left, there is LD Player 9. These two emulators right now are running the stage of CA5. It's going to be a little bit slow because my computer is taking out a lot of resources filming and running two emulators at the same time. But I do want you guys to take notice as to the amount of resources that's being used. Now on the top over there, that is actually LD Player 4 and on the bottom, that is LD Player 9. How am I able to tell the difference? Well, there are improvements that comes with this version upgrade. In LD Player 9, it is currently using way less RAM as compared to the previous version. I did a bit of a percentage calculation and it can drop as far as 30% of an improvement in the RAM usage. Whereas when it comes to the CPU and the GPU, I do think that it's using quite about the same. Although I was told by LD Player themselves that if let's say you have a weaker PC, you can feel the sort of improvement because it's better optimized when it comes to using your CPU and your GPU. Um, LD Player 9 also fixed a lot of random crash issues that you might experience in LD Player 4, ensuring that you have a much smoother time as well. And if let's say you want a sort of confirmation like, hey Cookie, how are you so sure that this 217 MB that you say is from LD Player 4 is from the emulator itself? This is my LD Player 4, I can give it a close and then you can see the 200 MB it's pretty much gone, only the 177 MB is left. So this is from the LD Player 9. So CPU and GPU wise, again, it's about the same, but I do appreciate that the RAM usage is much smaller than before. I'm glad that LD Player are making improvements to go on par with some of the other emulators right now. If you'd like to download LD Player, my affiliate link is down in the description of my video. You can click on it and then download LD Player from there and straight away play your favorite Arc Knights. All right, that's that for my video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed your time. The moment that LD Player gets out of their beta version, I will also write a YouTube community post so that you will be aware of it. If not, that's all from me. I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.